Hi folks, Chicken Bone John here with uh, one of my latest things. I've been busy trying to catch up with some of my backlog of customer work. This is one of them. I've, uh, I've been modifying a guitar and doing a case. I don't often do cases. I sometimes feel I'm not really geared up for it, but I managed to get hold of uh, the components I wanted and some nice materials. So here we go. Uh, hard shell case, 6mm plywood, 18mm kiln dried softwood. This great super cool uh, mock croc navy uh, navy blue covering with uh, these nice heavy duty British made ABS corner protectors nickel plated uh, uh, drawbar catchers stay hinges and a really nice comfortable sort of techno spring handle if you want one to do for your guitar give me a message uh, I'm going to be making some more for myself, I think. And in here we've got uh, it's sort of fleece, fleece lined. And here's what I've been working on. I've got this sort of padded neck support and these padded. Uh, it's been uh, it's it's a blues boy jag guitar, but the uh, owner didn't like the original neck. So what I've done, I've re-necked it, uh, put in a uh, a laminated oak and mahogany uh, neck with a uh, uh, oak fretboard, inlaid black uh, position and side dot markers, some decent seals, seal tuners. Redone the uh, the the uh, tailpiece arrangement and redone the pickup. Uh, it's interesting getting things in from other people and how uh, people build their uh, guitars differently. I mean, for for I've never seen this before, but this guitar was built with the neck actually glued to the top, which really surprised me when I opened it up. That they've got a very skinny neck which the owner didn't like. It was narrow and very, very shallow. And there's a glue to the top, which is a bit weird. Whereas what I've done, I've put this through, I put this, whoops, through neck. Let's pull the case over. Uh, I'll put this through neck uh, in it. There we go. <laughs> uh, screwed in and um, bone nut. It had just got a machine screw nut. And th this is an arrangement which I don't do personally because I like to put the bridge, bridge sort of about the third way down so the box actually reverberates. But we've got the bridge very close to the edge. I put in a slightly taller machine screw nut. And this, the arrangement of the bridge before was just uh, machine screws just put into the end and the strings looped round again, which I didn't really like. So I've actually made, uh, I don't know if you can see on here, this. Um, put this aluminium angle tailpiece so it comes over here with the original string bearer and it's got an interesting hand wound pickup uh, not bad sounding, not much output but it, it's very it's very microphonic and does feedback at high level but there were these just the pole pieces were just these uh, again these uh, machine uh, self tappers through through the top and the alignment wasn't as all that I really wanted so I ended up realigning the tailpiece because we needed a wider string spacing. Realigning the pickup because the pickup holes were in a slightly different place. I put this face plate on it. Um, so it's still got the original box and the original pickup, but new neck, new tailpiece, new bridge. And uh, here we go in a note G tuning. <laughs> So there we go. So I hope I uh, goes back to the owner uh, in a better state. So I, then he then, then he left it with me. I hope he prefers it. But it is really interesting seeing guitars by other makers uh, and how people, it's not necessarily better or worse, it's just different to the way that I do it, not the way I do it. So I've sort of tried to leave the basic thing. I mean, there's certain things I, I could, really couldn't change. The pickup position, I could have put a new pick, pick up in. And the, bridge, and, and the bridge position, obviously because the pickup's way down here, there's nothing much I can do with the bridge here. Single volume, I tend to put a, either nothing or a tone of volume. Um, so there you go. Um, out shortly with um, 
the new case, which I think is pretty nifty. Um, so I've got a spot a length of this. Uh, oops, uh, buzzing away from my amplifier. Oh. Uh, I bought a length of this uh, sort of mock croc stuff, and I'm going to get some more, I think, in this sort of paler colour. Um, but pretty substantial cases. So decent, sturdy uh, hinges. Uh, so you can see this thing just uh, it just drops in. So we've got a uh, got a neck support here and a padded bolster at the top and the bottom just to catch the headstock and stop that rattling about. Shuts and nice, nice and firmly. Not rattling about in there. Very nice, comfortable hand handle. Uh, ready for plenty of uh, many happy years service. Okie doke, bye for now.